Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I want to show you the viewport height attribute, which lets you size elements according to the size of your browser window. Um, and the term, the fancy term for your browser window is the viewport, which is where this attribute gets its name. So you can see right here, this is a HTML document with almost nothing in it. And the one thing it has in it is this div and I've styled this div so that its height is 100 VH. That means 100% of the size of the viewport window. So no matter how big or small I make this window, this, this div is always exactly the height of it. So the, the way to do this with width uh, would be a lot simpler. You just sort of go width 100% um, and maybe still height, you know, 200 pixels. And as you see, so the width property has been around forever, right? The width property always makes something as wide as the thing is, as the thing that contains it is wide. But what we don't have is we don't have a way to say, hey, I want this to be 100% of the height of, um, I want this to be 100% of the height of the document. It's something that should work, but it just, it doesn't. It doesn't work in CSS. And since I've been doing CSS for so long, I never even think to do this anymore. Well, the thing that actually works is 100 VH. The height of this element is 100% of the viewport window, 100% of the available sort of real estate in your browser. And then we can set the width to be a fraction of the viewport height as well. And since we did that, basically this element is square. It's as, it's as tall as it is wide. Now, obviously it's a circle and I just did that by adding a border radius. But fundamentally, this is a square that is as tall as the browser is, as the viewport is tall, and as wide as the viewport is tall. And then you just give it a border radius, and it's a circle. So let me just show you some other things you can do. Of course, it doesn't have to be 100 VH. It could be 50. And that makes it half as tall as the viewport, and we'll just keep it a circle. So now this is a circle that's half as tall as the viewport. And we can even give it things like margins um, that are expressed in, in, in uh, viewport height units. So um, this gives us a circle that is always, that always takes up exactly half of the available space vertically, and it's always um, right in the middle, right in the middle of the screen. So this is really, really useful for, I think, a lot of things. I think definitely one, one thing is if you've got like a single page layout for your site, it's kind of like a scrolling site, and maybe you want each individual scrolling page or certainly maybe just the um, home page uh, to be like a big hero image that always covers the user's entire browser, um, then that's really easy. You just, you just set that page, whatever the containing element for that initial page is, you just set its height to be something like 100 VH. Um, I'm also going to show you another um, use that, that uh, I'm actually um, using this for, which is a little app I'm writing. And what it does is it just sort of helps you count yourself through taking deep breaths. So you can see this circle is expanding as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, it, it's shrinking. And the way, one of the things that I'm using to get this effect is that I'm basically telling the circle first to start out pretty small and then eventually to be about 120 VH, meaning slightly larger than the viewport. So as you can see, the circle kind of goes outside of the bounds of the viewport. So yeah, um, that is viewport height. It's really, really awesome. I'm only starting to kind of scratch the surface of, of what it makes available. And it is a CSS3 property. So let's just look real quickly at um, browser compatibility. Um, and you'll see that it's pretty good. Uh, all the actually good browsers support it and have for, for quite a while. Uh, I guess Opera does not, um, which I don't think is a very big deal. And then Internet Explorer 11 and Edge support it. These yellow things are because it doesn't use the VMAX unit, which I actually don't know what that is. So um, yeah, if, if you can rely on people having a, a pretty decent browser environment running, then, then this VH property should work for you. Okay, the last thing I'll show you is just VW, which to me is pretty redundant with width. 
I mean, VW always means the width of the viewport, whereas width means the width of the containing element. So they definitely are different. But um, yeah, if you want something that is always half the width of your viewport, then VW is, 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 uh, is pretty much the same thing as VH. It's just a width instead of a height. Okay, thanks for watching.